Chapter Nine of Just for Juniors: Little Talks to Little Folks by Reverend Gerald T. Brennan. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Chapter Nine: The Greatest Thing in the World. Most of you children have been confirmed. You have received the sacrament of confirmation, and you have received the Holy Ghost. The day you received the sacrament of confirmation was one of the most important days of your life. You remember everything that happened. You remember that the bishop came to our church. You remember what the bishop said. You remember what the bishop did. Well, last Sunday, I saw some boys and girls receive the sacrament of confirmation in another church. It was a grand class, and the parish priest was very proud of his children. I think the bishop liked the class, too, because after benediction, the bishop did something unusual. He spoke to the children a second time. "'Boys and girls,' said the bishop, "'you have done very well, and I would like to reward you. Each one of you deserves a prize, but I have no prizes. However, I have something very precious, my rosary. I'll give my rosary to the boy or girl who will give me the best answer to a question.' Every eye was on the bishop. Every child wondered what the question would be. Every boy and girl hoped to have the right answer. The bishop waited for a moment, and then spoke very slowly. Here is my question, he said. What was the greatest thing that ever happened in this world? Every boy and girl began to think. The bishop smiled while he waited for an answer. A little girl was the first one to raise her hand. The bishop nodded his head, and the girl stood up. The greatest thing that ever happened in this world, she said was the discovery of America by Christopher Columbus. That was a good answer, said the bishop. Now let's see what the other boys and girls think. A boy was the next one to answer the bishop's question. I think, said the boy, that the greatest thing that ever happened in this world was the making of the first airplane. That was a good answer, too. So were several other answers. The first steamboat, the first pin, the first eraser, the first fountain pen, the automobile, the washing machine, the electric icebox, radio, all these were mentioned. The bishop, however, knew that there was a better answer. Finally, a boy in the fifth pew raised his hand. He was little Eddie Kelly, one of the altar boys. The bishop knew Eddie because Eddie had often served the bishop's mass. Well, Eddie, asked the bishop, what do you think was the greatest thing that ever happened in this world? Eddie answered in a clear voice. The greatest thing that ever happened in this world was the birth of Jesus Christ. Jesus came to earth to make us better people, and the world would be very much better if all of us would do what Jesus taught. Good for you, Eddie, smiled the bishop. That's the right answer. The greatest thing that ever happened in this world was the birth of Jesus. Yes, Eddie Kelly won the bishop's prize. He won the bishop's rosary because Eddie gave the right answer to the bishop's question. Children, since this world began, some mighty important people have lived on this earth. There have been kings, queens, and emperors. There have been presidents, mighty soldiers, learned teachers, and great builders. There have been thousands of great men and women. But Jesus Christ was the greatest of them all. Jesus was greater than any man who has ever lived, because Jesus is God. Eddie Kelly said that Jesus came on earth to make all of us better people. Yes, Jesus came to show us the way to heaven. Jesus gave us ten rules to follow, ten laws, or as we call them, the Ten Commandments. If we keep these ten rules, then, we will surely get to heaven. Then, too, Jesus made seven sacraments to make it easy for us to get grace. Every time we receive one of these sacraments, we get grace in our souls, and that grace will buy our way into heaven. Oh, Jesus did so many good things for us. He showed us how to suffer. He even died for us. Just think how terrible it would be if Jesus had not come. The gates of heaven would still be closed, and it would be mighty hard for us to save our souls. If Jesus had not come, there would be no Catholic churches, no Catholic schools, no priests, 
no sisters. There would be no mass. You wouldn't be able to go to confession. You couldn't receive Holy Communion. Why, you would be afraid to die. Yes, without Jesus, this would be a hard world, and you wouldn't be very happy. You can see that Jesus has been very good to us. It must have been very hard for him to leave heaven and come here and suffer. Jesus came to earth because he loves us. Jesus came to make us better people, to help us win heaven. Would you like to thank Jesus for being so good? Well, you can do that when you pray, when you assist at Mass, when you receive Holy Communion. You can thank Jesus for coming to earth by keeping his commandments and by receiving his sacraments often. You can thank Jesus by being a better boy or girl. As Eddie Kelly said so well, this world would be very much better if all of us would do what Jesus taught. End of chapter 9